today I am going to be showing you everything that you need to know about Adobe Express. Andrew, we want to put him on the background. We want it to look like he's climbing. Well, click this single button and watch what happens. Dun, 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 dun. The background is removed. Hit done right here. And you can see now he is removed from the background. Now, if we want to switch him to the other side, click right here, flip horizontal, boom. If we want him to be a little bit at an angle, we can do that right here at the bottom. Just click and drag to rotate him right there. Click on the image that you have the background removed from. We are going to duplicate that image. We're going to do some fun with all of the filters that you see right above me. Turn on the blur. And that is going to blur this out just a little bit right there. We're going to turn on filters. And filters are a really great way for us to augment our photos to create something cool. If you want to use a template, you can change the size, you can change the font, you can change the color. So let's create some really awesome typography. Click on text. There are so many templates built for you of adding text to Adobe Express. All of these are editable. We can scale this up and then you can actually edit all of these details. So you can double click in and you can see all of these elements that they've used to build this background. You can come in here, you can change the colors very easily if we want it to be white. We are going to create from scratch. So we're gonna click on add your text Safari sale. I can take these suggestions. And what's cool is as I move this around, right? It is suggesting these fonts. I'm gonna click on this and check it out. We have some really cool type coming in right here click to change the text color. Cool thing is that it is pulling colors from the current palette. I do want to change some of the alignments. Clicking on spacing, I can change the line spacing to get it closer together by dragging this down. And then we can change the letter spacing if we want it to go a little bit further out or pull it in all the way. Clicking through the effects, you can actually see that you can add backgrounds, you can customize, you can change, you can do all kinds of great things with your type. If you wanted to click mask text, what that's going to do is it will make the text see through. Or you can click right here on white. It has created this kind of label look to explore other shapes. Click right here on shape. And that is going to give us a ton of shapes to play with. You can click right here, boom, film festival. If we wanted to do something that feels a little more Parisian, maybe you have a bakery and you're making some baguettes. We can add a shadow here if we wanted to, just to separate a little bit as well. Or we can create an outline on our text if we wanted to, very easy options. We've gotten our image here looking good. What we can do is click on animation, and this is magic. At animation, we can click in typewriter and it's going to animate that text in for us. You can play around with all kinds of different options here, right? We can have it slide in from the side, really fun. We can have it flicker in, do some dynamic stuff. You also can animate the photos. Let's say that I want to pan these photos in. Look at that, pretty cool. Or maybe I wanted this over here, or we could even zoom those in. I think that's kind of fun. And what we can do is we can hit download and then we can download as a video. And if we download as a video, we can actually convert it to a GIF very easily. Click on download and that is going to download it for us. You can see that it is saving right now and then it will download onto our computer. How to create a GIF. Once we have that download, all we would need to do is come back, go to quick actions. You can generate QR codes, change video, convert your images, combine PDFs, all kinds of amazing options. We want to convert to GIF, click on browse on our device. I'm gonna go into my download and grab my template right there. And you can convert this into a GIF right here in Adobe Express. I will see you again another time. Bye.